Hey guys, what is up? This is me, Marcus, aka M underscore Big Mac, and this is a quick little thing for channel art. Um, a lot of my friends have been asking how do I do it because they have no clue how to do it. They they're only like good at like Photoshop and stuff like that. I am not able to get Photoshop. I would be doing insane things with my life. Um, but it's not available on my platform, so yeah. So a lot of my friends have been asking how to make it because they're really bad at GIMP. They've even admitted it. So what the first thing you want to do is do Control N, which brings up this. And if you want to do like a YouTube icon, you're gonna to want to do 800 by 800 for the max quality you can. Any higher than that, it's just gonna look all compressed because of YouTube compression. Uh, you want to click OK, and you might see you don't have any of these things in the sides. So you, what you're going to do is right click Windows, and then you're going to do New Toolbox, and it will come up with this. Then you might want to expand that if your eyes can't see it. Uh, when I click, I'm going to click on that, and then it opens this and stuff. Oh yeah, and to open the tool options, you're going to have to um, double click on that, or any of the tools to be honest. And uh, yeah, that's really how you get started. And yeah, I'll cut, I, okay, I swear I can speak English. this. Um, right now, I think we should make a normal icon, a bit like mine right now. So mine's... Um, an M at the moment. I'm really happy with that one. That's really good. Um, and what you want to do is click on this one. It's highlighted now. On the toolbox, if you can see my mouse, um, that's the one you're going to want to click. And then you're going to want to go on files or something. And then you're going to want to find a photo that you want to turn into thumb. Look, this was a thing I made for my friend. That was super easy to make. Um, hmm. I guess let's make the letter C. Okay. Uh, then you just want to type on wallpaper. If I can spell. Um, images. And then you want to choose something that you like. Like, let's say, no, not this one, it's too low quality. Okay, I don't like that one because that's No Man's Sky. No offense. Uh, this is a good photo. It's quite high resolution. You're going to want to get quite a high resolution one. Um, actually, let's unselect and select. That's how you get, if you accidentally click, actually, wait. Uh, if you accidentally click like that, and you want to click on other things, not the like cutting tool. You just click on that to reset it. And then if you've got quite a big image, you're gonna to want to select this tool, which is the scale tool, which makes everything how we want it to be, like what size you want it to be. This might get a bit compressed, all the pixels, but it sometimes looks good compressed looks like it's a higher quality picture um, let's try and get those moons in the correct places or should I say the correct size let's do done let's see this yes it might take a while to scale uh, maybe a bit smaller uh, wait that's too small because it's 700 gonna have to expand that to 800 and you wanna fit it in okay there we go and then you might want to move it around and like try and get it in oh cancel so if that happens and you expand it by accident then you just want to press cancel and then it goes back to its normal position you wanna if you want to move it around, you want to press this little orange thing, circle in the middle, and you want to move it across to where you want it, 
Oh, you think it would be quite a nice bit of photo. And there we go, we have our picture. Now, if you want it like sort of contrasting, what you want to want to do is go to blur, Gaussian blur, and wait, I select the background. Be careful not to select background because then it'll start blurring the background, which won't be good. Do Gaussian blur, and there we go, it's all blurred now. And now let's say we're doing a C. C is quite hard on GIMP, so what you want to do is get a circle that you think is a good size, and then you want to put in what you want to put in it. Uh, so let's find another thing. Desktop, let's find, this looks nice. Let's do this one. Okay, you so it might refresh your circle. You just want to resize this to what size you want it to be. And then just do the circle again. So if you want a big one, you just do it like this. Like that. And then control C and then control V. And then you see this extra layer has come up on the side. You want to right click on that and click to new layer. So here you just want to delete that layer by right clicking on it. And there you go, you have a circle. Now to actually make it look like a C, what you want to do is cut out of here using this tool, um, like this, and then you just want to do this. So you want to make out a little cut like that. And then you can just do a random cut like that. Then do you do you do you do control X which what happened there? Oh wait, control X. So you wanna be have this selected, the circle, make sure it has that yellow line around it. And then you wanna do control X and that will remove that. And now it looks a bit like Pac-Man. So now from that stage you just wanna do this and do that and so you just wanna select like do that. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that wasn't that clear. So it had that like square thing. To get rid of that, to do anything else, you want to select scaling tool, click on it, then it will pop up with this. You want to click delete layer. Oh, my throat hurts. Okay. And then from there, you just want to do this. And move it sort of into the centre new layer okay and now we've got a circle there now you just want to get this tool the fuzzy selector tool you want to do shift click and then you want to click on this one and press ctrl x and then you want to get rid of this one nope nope so you want to get rid of this one so delete layer and then you want to do this again you want to scale it and delete it and there you go, you have a C. Now you see, like, it might be a bit weird around the outside, don't worry about uh, that, because in YouTube, that's what you would be seeing. To give it a bit more, like, show it, like, show the C a bit more, you might want to right click on it, make sure you've got it selected, and then filters, light shadow, drop shadow, and then you want to have it on these presets, so, Offset X, 0, Offset Y, 5, and Blur Radius, 15. These settings work really well, and then you might want to merge this down, just so it's in the correct place all the time. And there you go. You have a quick little um, icon for YouTube. And that should be the end of the video, guys, because that was pretty simple. Now none of my friends have to go and beg me for YouTube icons or Steam icons or something. 800 by 800 works on Steam too. So if you want to make a Steam icon, it's fine. And actually, you want to save it by Control S. And then I'm just going to do YouTube tutorial. Okay, and then save. And then you want to do Control E, which will export it. Then you want to do YouTube tutorial, what you named it, whatever. 
and then export and to actually make it work on YouTube you want to click it and so it goes to one if you put it on zero it would be too big of a file and it won't let you have it as your icon so you want to export that and there there you are you're done with everything everything's fine now you've finished it all there's no extra processes unless you want to like add extra bits like blah, 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 which I don't because it looks quite I think it looks quite it's better when it's simple and also if, if this is a bit off-centered just put it a bit and it's move it where you want it to go and also I have these uh, like banner things um, I sometimes use these I think this one might look good behind it I don't know and if this goes on top and then this goes on top of that like if you sort of you can sort of make it look cool but I think it looks better just like normal Anyway, this is going to be the end of this video, and thank you guys for watching, hope you like and subscribe, and get ready for the next video guys, see ya.